I'm Adrian Kelly and I'm the curator of the Glebe House and Gallery here in Donegal. Um, the Glebe House and Gallery is the former home of the artist and collector Derek Hill, who first came here in the 40s to stay with his friend Henry Michael Henney in what's now Glenvey National Park. Um, and Derek liked Donegal, he, he fancied it as a painter, he thought it would be nice to paint, to move here and paint. So he bought the house a few years later. It had been St Colum's Hotel, it was a little country hotel for hunting and fishing and he turned it into uh, he turned it back into a private house um, it became his home and he filled it with his collection and he painted in the stable block nearby which is now the Glebe Gallery. The Glebe House and Gallery is now open to the public during the summer months and a visitor here can uh, enjoy the gardens there's 25 acres of gardens uh, there's an exhibition in the gallery and they can have tours, guided tours of his former home, uh, the Glebe House. Um, and the house is, is full of his collection and his memories and it has a lot of character. And I think one of the things that people notice about the house is that as well as, you know, objects and memories, he collected friends that all of the objects, all of the paintings are from people that he knew rather than just things that he picked up. Um, so there's a lot of meaning. When he first came to Donegal, it would have been a very remote, isolated sort of a place. There was no rural ele electricity here, for instance. Um, and he modernized the house. He, he wanted his, his comforts. Um, but also he liked the sort of the wildness of the place. And I think he found it very bohemian almost, um, which seems at, at odds with what people who lived here would maybe have felt about Donegal. Um, and his legacy, I think really is that people now, a lot of people now do see Donegal as being quite bohemian. There's a lot going on, there's a lot of music, there's a lot of art, there's a lot of literature, there's a lot of culture uh, here and it's quite alive. It's not as forced as maybe in somewhere more central, somewhere more metropolitan. He lived here for 30 years and uh, he then gave the house to the Irish people. I think he'd been trying to do that for a little while. He realised that what he had created for himself was quite unique and he used to show it to people quite a lot. Obviously his friends who came to stay, but also uh, like art students from the local IT would have been brought out here and had tours of the house. So even when he was living in the house, he treated it a bit like a historic property. And I think he felt that the only way to keep it together and keep it the way he had designed it was to give it to the Irish people. Uh, the Office of Public Works took it over and have been running it now for uh, 35 years as a museum, as a gallery and a museum. Along with the house, which is a permanent collection that doesn't uh, rotate very much, you know, if, if you came here this year and came back in five years, it would look broadly similar. We have a programme of curated exhibitions that run in the gallery throughout the summer. Um, and the exhibition that we're installing today is by the dairy artist Lockie Morris. Um, he's a very interesting artist and uh, we'll go and talk to him in a little while. Um, and it's the exhibition's in two parts. There's the gallery exhibition, which is a typical art museum exhibition. We'll look at some of the pieces there. But also uh, he is putting some of his art into the house here and it'll be dispersed among the collection. Your work's very personal, Lockie. Um, you, you seem to look at the things around you very closely, things that other people would maybe miss in their own lives. Uh, well, yeah, it's the, I'm interested in the little sort of the crevices between things, you know, things when you're going to do something really important, then something happens along the way that it's unexpected. So that that's really an interesting idea for me. Mm. Uh, so it does, you know. It's my immediate terrain has always been, you know, I'm looking very closely at the landscape or what's happening quite close to where I am as a physical human being. So the work stems from that, you know, the interaction, going about your life really, the business mm. of living. I thought, you know, going about your everyday life and, you know, there's kind of things happen and then the, the pieces of work kind of spring from that. It's almost like the Paddy Kavanagh thing about how it all happens in your own parish. If you look for it. That's a big thing. You know, I used to, when I was a younger guy, I used to think, you know, that life's happening somewhere else, you know. Outside. Yeah. It's London or New York and all that. And maybe after 20 or 30 years, I started to come to terms with it. It was happening quite close to wherever <laughs> you were, you know. So I kind of 
use that as a like an taking comfort from that mm. things can happen you know in your life quite close to you so the work stems from that and that's I'm kind of cool with that it used to be not very cool with that but I'm kind of cool with that now well, thank you, Lockie. Um, Lockie Morris's exhibition, Mergers and Acquisitions, runs at the Glebe Gallery here until the start of November.